Quartzite was primarily used to repair weapons and tools in Grounded prior to the Hot and Hazy update. Now it's used for that purpose, as well as for upgrading weapons and tools. This change has drastically increased the value of Quartzite, which means knowing where to find it, especially early in the game, should be a high priority. I spent hours scouring the entire backyard looking for every Quartzite location, and in this video I'll show you every one of them. I'll also let you know the best place to get Quartzite early on, and the place that has the most Quartzite. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so now and turn on notifications so you never miss any future videos. Let's get started. The first place you're most likely going to run into Quartzite is going to be inside the cable tunnel down here where the mites are located. This is the repair of this laser here. So on the map, we are right here. We're just south of the baseball and the mysterious machine. And we're just going to head in here and show you the Quartzite. Now, Quartzite does respawn after so many in-game days. I'm not exactly sure exactly how many it is. It's probably like two or three, maybe maybe a little bit longer. But there's Quartzite down here. So you see one here. This is Quartzite. There's one there. There's one there. There's one here. There's also, I believe, some that are blocking this wall here. Maybe these don't respawn. So in general, you're going to find a decent amount here. Now, each Quartzite with the latest patch is going to give you between 4 and 11. Prior to that, it was giving 7 on each one of them, so you were guaranteed to get 7. Now it's 4 to 11, which means on average, you're probably going to get about 7.5. So it's a slight buff, but you know you might have some poor RNG where you get 4 each time, and then but you might have good RNG where you get 10 or 11 every time, and it kind of balances out. So that's a good spot to get it. And the reason you're going to need to get a lot of it is because it's going to cost quite a bit to upgrade your weapons and tools. So all weapons and tools now require Quartzite to upgrade. You can upgrade them up to level 7. The first five levels for all weapons and tools, except for bows, require you to use Quartzite. It's going to cost a total of 62 to get it to level 5. Then for the everything but the weapons, everything for the, except for the bows, you're going to use one of the candies here. Either you're going to use mint, mint shards, you're going to use spicy shards or salty shards, or, quart or Quartzite shards, which are going to turn into globs. Except for the bows, the bows only allow you to use Quartzite for the upgrade now. They changed that. But you're going to need 62 per, per weapon or tool to get to level 5. So you're going to need quite a bit. And this is going to be the first place you're probably going to be able to find it. What you're going to need to do is just break with a hammer. So real quick, let's just go down here and break with a hammer. The pebble pebblet hammer is perfectly fine. Obviously, if you have a, the insect hammer, it's going to break a little bit quicker. Also, if you have rock cracker, it's going to break a little bit quicker. We're going to pull our hammer out and just hit it a couple times. Now, as you saw, it broke pretty quickly there. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And let's just do one more real quick. I have Rock Cracker 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got a total of 11 there from 2. That's that's not bad. It's not great. But I have Rock Cracker 3 unlocked, and I have the Insect Hammer. That's why it's breaking within 2 hits. Normally, it's going to take like 4 or 5 hits if you're just starting out. So that's the first place you're going to find it. Now, let's head over to the second most likely place you're going to be able to get it early on and probably one of the safest places you can get it. All right, I made my way, way over to the Oak Tree Lab where Burgle's located. So of course this is in the Oak Tree right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down in here real quick because this is a great spot to get Quartzite, especially early on. Very safe, There's not, there shouldn't be any insects down here unless you get unlucky and the wolf spider somehow glitches down here. Should be pretty safe in here. If you come past Burgle here and make a right, some right here, some right here, some right here. I believe there's also more down here. Let's see if I mark the map. Yeah. Yeah, so this ends up leading out to the old anthill down here. So there's quartzite all through this. So you can get a decent amount here. So between that and the first location I showed you where you repair the mysterious machine, you're going to probably be able to easily get like around 100, maybe more. And both those locations are fairly safe. The first place only had mites, which are pretty trivial to deal with. And then this spot, as long as you don't get ambushed by a wolf spider outside, you're going to be able to freely go through here. And there's going to be some red ants, but they're not going to bother you because there's I don't remember ever seeing any soldier ants in here. The, re the basic worker red ants will not attack you. And you can just farm the quartzite at will. Just make sure you don't hit them with your hammer. So now let's check out a couple other spots that are in the grassland that you can pick up some decent amounts of quartzite real quick. Now we made our way over to the red ant hill. So this is on the western side of the grasslands, which is the center area. It's right here on the map. And as long as you have your ant armor on, so just get some basic ant armor, the regular right, right ant armor, you'll be safe to go in here. They shouldn't bother you when you're breaking the quartz, I don't believe. They only attack if you actually attack them or if you attack some of the, or if you take their eggs. So you can see there's quartzite here, and there's going to be quartzite scattered all along here. Hopefully there's not a million ants in here. I know they did reduce the spawns of ants. 
We're not going to go too far in here. But basically, this cave is going to, or this anthill is going to have quartzite pretty much all throughout it. You just have to look around in the different corners and stuff like that so you don't miss any. So there's probably some back here. Yeah, there's some there. And there's some over there. So there's plenty of it back here. This is probably the third spot I would go to early on just because you can get an armor pretty quickly. And all you have to do is come in here, crack those quartzite rocks, and get in and out pretty quickly. And there's a decent amount in here as well. All right, now we're at Spade Gulch. This is over in the eastern side of the grasslands here. This is not exactly the safest area because there is a bombardier beetle. There's quite a lot of lawn mites. You should be able to deal with those, though. And what I want to tell you is to get in here, you're going to have to have, of course, a hammer because you need, you need the hammer anyway. But there should be acorns here. And there's, there's going to be a rock that you're going to have to destroy. Now, fortunately, if you just came from the right anthill, you should have been able to get a couple of ant eggs. You can make a splat burst or a brat burst and be able to destroy, possibly destroy this. You're th I think you're going to need fungal growth in order to make those too. So maybe you can grab like an infected weevil or something close by. But in any case, you can get into it this way. You can also get it over here. It's more dangerous to go in from the entrance over here because it's going to take you on the side where there's larva. So we're going to go down in here real quick and I'm going to show you what it looks like. There's quite a bit of quartzite down here. So we're going to head down here. We're going to come to this field station. And there may be quartzite back here. Let's check real quick. I can't remember. There might be some back in this corner. Maybe there's nothing back here. Oh, the molar's back. Okay, there's a milk molar there. But we do have a lot of quartzite up the other end. So it might actually just make sense the other way. Other way, let's just see how many larvae up here. So this is like a larva spawn down here. There's sometimes a lot of larvae. So you have some quartzite there. Got some quartzite here. You can just see how many larvae can spawn here. It's quite a bit of larva. So if you come down here and there's no larva, you can just get, clean this out pretty easily. If there's this many larva, you're probably going to have a little bit of trouble. So you make want to make sure you come in pretty equipped. So those are the four first four places I would go. And then, of course, there's more coming out here. So we'll just go out the other entrance. Now, to be honest, this th fourth place I just showed you here, I'd probably make sure you're decently equipped to come here with decent armor because otherwise larva can be pretty dangerous early on. Especially if you don't have great armor, and if they're in that many, if there's that many of them, if you're fighting like four, five, six of them, that's going to be pretty tough. So you might want to try to pick them off, maybe lure them out, or hopefully get in there when there's none of them, or there, when there's none of them, because they do come out during the day and wander around. So those are the four best places early on. Now a couple other places that I can show you over here is going to be the entrance to the four leaf clover. So we have the four leaf clover here. There's an entrance here in the pond, and actually since we're so close to it, I might as well walk over there in case you've never seen it before. It is a little bit hidden, so you might miss this one. So let's run over there real quick. All right, so I'm standing at the entrance to where you get the four-leaf clover. It's hidden in this little pond here that's connected to the bigger flooded area. And you can see there's a tunnel down there. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to swim down that tunnel, and it ends up taking you down over to here. There is quartzite in the water tunnel, which you can't break. I'm not sure why it's there, because you can't break quartzite underwater. At least currently you can't. Maybe in the future you'll be able to. But you make your way down there, and around the four-leaf clover, there's a couple of them. So not a ton, but there's a couple. And that's pretty much all of them that are in the in the grasslands at the beginning, except for these over here. These are the haze area. We're going to get to those in a minute. But real quick, I wanted to show you a couple others. So there's three marks up here for the pond, for the koi pond lab. I'm not going to go in there because there's just real. you've probably seen the koi pond. If not, you'll see it pretty early on. You can get to it over here by the T-Rex. You can get to it over here by the pond depths. And then once you've completed it, there will be the pond hatch. So anyways, you go in there, we'll get you to it. This is probably the fastest way. And there will be a storage area that has a bunch of resources on it i think i saw like 10 around 10 quartzite sitting on one of the shelves this quartzite i do not believe re does not i don't believe it respawns so once you get it it's gone the other locations where you're naturally farming it you'll be able to get it every couple of in-game days and then there's one more place like that which is over here in the hedge area so you got the hedge lab reach and the hedge lab over here on the northern part of the hedge which is on the eastern part of the map so up here there's going to be another similar spot where there's a room that has a bunch of resources sitting on a shelf I don't remember exactly how many was here. It was somewhere between probably 5 and 10. These, I do not believe, they do not respawn either. So those are the a couple of spots you can get them. And then the Haze Lab does have them inside of it. We'll head over there. The Haze Lab has some of them, but they're not on the shelves. And I don't, as far as I know, none of the other labs actually had them in it, except for the Black Ant Hill, which has a lab in it. So let's head on over to the best place to get it, which is going to be over in the Haze area, which has been completely revamped in the last two updates. All right, now we're in the haze area. I have the haze turned off in this map, in this save, so there's no haze here. This area is going to be super dangerous, whether or not you've turned it on or off. If you've turned it, if you left the haze going, you're going to have to wear a gas mask. It's going to be hard to see. If you've turned it off, 
there's going to be a ton more infected insects walking around and the infected spore the strange spores are going to spread around much more so the first place over here we're going to look at is this cave here so as you can see you can see quartzite right there so you can either fall down this way or come over here there's going to be a wolf spider in here there's also an orb weaver at the other end and of course there's tons of spiderlings there's a decent amount of quartzite in there so you want to make sure you hit that up some point now when you're coming over to the haze you're probably going to have been playing for several hours so you should have decent armor decent weapons and stuff like that and probably have upgraded some of your stuff and what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the other places that are over here so there's a ton of what i guess people are calling abysses or canyons and what you'll see is down inside these these places you're going to see a ton of quartzite all right so i dropped down in one of these canyons and what you're going to see is there's a ton of infected larva down here so you're going to want to make sure you're pretty well stocked up on you have good gear basically before you come over to this area because there's a lot of infected insects down here so as you can see there's one here but this spot over here is going to be the biggest location for quartzite i think there's a total of 11 quartzite one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so you're going to get anywhere from 44 to up to over what 121 quartzite and on average you're probably going to get about 75 to 80 from this one spot that's enough to upgrade an entire weapon all the way up to level five with a couple spares left over. And then on the rest of the map, all these spots right here are going to be different places in the canyons where you can get it. Some of them have one, some of them have two, some of them have three. This one spot right here, which is, I guess, around like this biohazard spot, is going to be the one that has the most. And like I said, these do respawn over time. And then real quick, before we leave this area, we're going to head over to the haze lab so I can show you where it is inside the haze lab. Here's the entrance to the haze lab. We're going to come in here and we're going to see that there is quartzite right around the beginning of it. So we're going to head down on here. i the light on for you guys so it's easier to see. Come through this door. And you're going to make your way over here through this cracked glass. And there should be a couple in here. I don't believe there's any out here. Maybe there used to be, but I don't think there's any out here now. But there's definitely a couple there. And from what I saw, there's none in any of the storage containers back here. So that's the two that you can get in here. Not a ton, but if you're over here when you're completing the haze lab, just make sure you grab it. All right, so staying over here on the western side of the map, there's a couple other places, two really, that have a little bit of quartzite, not a ton. Up in the northwestern corner, top left corner of the sandbox, there's going to be an antlion that's sitting down in a pit here. And I believe, I can't remember if this is the one that has the spicy candy or not, or the spicy shard or not. I don't remember. It might be. Anyway... There's going to be a couple of quartzite in there, not a ton. And then this spot here and this spot here, this is the these are the entrances to well this is the entrance to the Black Ant Hill from the trash heap. This is the entrance from the sandbox. There's some quartzite in there. To be honest, it's not a great spot, at least from what I saw for quartzite. There seems to be more clay in there than quartzite, but it is a decent spot to get some of it. So just to recap, the blessed, the first couple places you're going to get it are going to be the laser where you, where the mites are located, you have to fix early on for the Mysterious Machine. So you hit that up. Then once you've repaired that, you've repaired the Mysterious Machine, you can head over to Oak Tree Lab where Burgle is located. You should get a decent amount from there, especially if you come back out and go back through this old anthill. Between those two locations, you should easily be able to get 100, maybe 150. I don't know. I haven't farmed it recently to count exactly how many it is. But there's quite a bit there. And then after that, once you get some red ant armor, you head over to the ant hill that's over here on the western side of the grasslands, and you should get a decent amount there. Just make sure you have the red ant armor on so you don't get attacked by the soldier ants. And then the fourth spot was over here by where Spade Gulch is. Again, there's a ton of larva in there, so you want to make sure you have decent gear. But those first three spots, the laser over here, the oak tree lab, and then the western ant hill over here are going to give you quite a bit. And then, of course, as you can see over here, the haze down in the canyon areas specifically there's going to be lots of different spots where it's located i think these two these two over here are the this is the two spots where you get into the spider den the rest of these over here are all inside the haze inside the little canyons or the abysses and then this one spot here like right where this biohazard sign is this is the one that has 11 quartzite rocks so you should you could possibly get over 100 just from that one location depending on how lucky you are so that's every quartzite location in the game, as well as where to find it early and where to get the most later on when you really need it in large quantities. Let me know which weapon or tool you plan on upgrading first in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.